Hi guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my best strategy for how to use Instagram to grow your brand and business online. I wanted to share with you guys some of my best tips, tricks, and hacks for Instagram growth strategy because I know a lot of you are wanting to be using this in 2021 to grow your own profile and your own business. And I'm a mompreneur and I know that a few of you guys out there who watch my videos are the same. So I wanted to give back and share with you guys how to grow on Instagram in 2021. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Okay, so let's jump in. What is my number one strategy for growing on Instagram? So let's first talk about why it's so essential to grow organically on Instagram and not by followers. So the way Instagram works, the way the algorithm works, is that every time you post, it shares that post with a small percentage of your audience. And if that small percentage likes, interacts, comments, shares, it tells the Instagram algorithm that this is a good post and it shares it to a few more followers and so on. So you'll see some of your posts will do really, really well and some won't. That's very natural, that's how it works. But if you have fake followers or bots or followers that don't really care about your content who aren't gonna like and comment, then you're really shooting yourself in the foot and your posts, no matter how great they are, just aren't gonna get out there because the followers that are there are either not real or not engaged. So you wanna make sure to build your brand and reach followers who actually care about you and your content. So how to do that organically? My number one best tip is to have shareability in mind when you're creating content. So what is shareability? Shareability is the likelihood that your content is gonna be organically shared by your followers. So how to know which kind of posts do that? Look at what your followers are sharing and think about the type of content that you share. So this is why things like inspirational quotes and funny memes tend to do really well on social media platforms because people relate to them, they think they're funny or inspirational, and they wanna share it with their own audience. So it's really hard if you're only posting pictures of your products, for example, or you and your family, if you have like a vlog channel on YouTube, for people to wanna share those posts with their followers. If people aren't sharing your posts, it means that you're not reaching new audiences in an organic way. So no matter how great your stuff is, no matter how great you are, if it's not the type of content that people share, it's just not gonna get past your own followers and you won't expand your reach. So when I'm trying to create a post that I want people to share, I think about one, how can I help them? How can I give them some advice or help them with a need they have, whether it's a tip or a trick or some insight? I tend to talk about Judaism, raising Jewish kids, the Jewish holidays. And just so you know, this is just one small piece of advice that I'm sharing in my guide called How to Grow on Instagram from Zero to 10K Followers. I'll leave the link below. It's a digital download. It's 13 pages, super easy to use, step-by-step -step instructions on how to grow your Instagram for your brand or personal business. So check out that link down below. Okay, so my tips and tricks might be focused on um, a recent one I did was how to talk to your kids about Santa Claus, how to talk to your Jewish kids about Santa Claus, and I wrote out a script of what I say to my kids. So this helped answer a problem that a lot of Jewish families have, whereas what to say, how to explain it, how to be kind, how to be gentle, etc. And that post was shared really widely. If I had done the same post by just taking a picture of my kids, for example, and in the description written it out, it probably would have done okay, but people don't tend to share pictures of other people's kids with their followers so much. So because the post is just text, it's really easy to read, it's black text on a white background with a little picture of Santa at the front, it's really easy to communicate the message and people really shared it. It also happened to be on a topic that was really relatable, relevant and something that was in the zeitgeist because it was around Christmas time. 
So I really recommend thinking about how you can do something similar with your audience when it comes to shareability. Now, shareable posts on Instagram are not the only posts I create because to the followers who are already here, already love my content, I wanna create a mixture of things that they wanna see. So not every post is designed for shareability, but I definitely have a few each week or each couple weeks when I'm looking to grow my audience you found this advice helpful, I have created a guide called From Zero to 10K on Instagram. I will leave the link below. It's on my Etsy shop and you can go check it out. Also, feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram about it. I really believe in the power of community on Instagram and really want to see other accounts, other folks like mine get to grow. And I know that there's so many out there who are trying and just like don't get it, you know? So I just really want to help and help you guys grow. There's so many amazing businesses out there and I just really look forward to seeing you guys grow in 2021. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out my digital download guide if you want more advice like this. It's a step-by-step, -step, easy guide, easy to follow. It covers everything from what to post, who to follow, how to gain followers, how to use stories and reels, how to think of what to post, how to take pictures, all of that is covered in the guide. So I'm really excited to share with you guys. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.